Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Kozlix. Today we are doing a Brawlhalla tier list. I'm going to be showing you guys my opinion on the best legends in Brawlhalla from S tier all the way to F tier. I might not actually use F tier because I think Brawlhalla is a very balanced game, but we're going to go over every single legend. Um, the only legend I'm not going to be going over is Magyar because he's so new and also he hasn't been through a balance patch yet. So he's not legal for the winter championship, so there's no reason to add him to this tier list. Currently, the date is February 26th, uh, 6 a.m. Don't ask why I'm recording at 6 a.m. But we are going to do every legend up until that point. There's also no Mako on this tier list. I'm using Tier Maker. Um, we're just going to add in Mako at the end. But we're just going to go in order. I'm going to give you my thoughts on each legend and where I put them. Guys, if you like this video, please hit that like, subscribe, comment. If you're new here, my name is Kozlix. I'm a professional Brawlhalla player. I'm currently power ranked third in North America, just under Sandstorm and Boomy. And I'd really appreciate it if you hit that sub. It would make my day trying to hit 200k by 2022. Let's get right into this. Okay. Ada. Um, when I judge legends, I like to talk about how well-rounded they are. And I think Ada just has some holes, defensively speaking. Blasters are meh right now. And Spears in a really good spot. Ada Sigs are great, but I just think she's got holes. I'm gonna put her I'm gonna put her in the C tier for now. Um there's gonna be big disparity in tiers for a lot of these legends. However, um none of the tiers are going to be in order because I don't know exactly what the best legend is, but I'm just gonna throw them in. Um, and also every legend is playable all the way to a professional level. It's just the difficulty at a professional level might change. But um, yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so with Ada we did Artemis. Artemis is good, but lacks kill potential. Lance is okay at killing. It's not great. Scythe is pretty bad at killing, but I like how Scythe is good off stage. Um, Artemis has a great side sig. I'm gonna put Artemis B tier for now. Maybe A, the side sig's nuts. Asuri. Katars are in a great spot. I think Sword's also good. I do think that there are better Katar legends, but I'm going to put Asuri A. I think Katars are really good right now, and Asuri 6 are good. Azoth. He's so well-rounded. <laughs> it's just one of those legends that is just fundamentally super well-rounded. I don't think I'm going to put S tier here. I'm going to move Asuri down to B tier, actually, but I'm going to put Azoth in A tier. Baraza, same with Azoth. Just fundamentally super well-rounded him right into a tier um obviously if blasters were like broken i'd put him s tier but yeah bodvar another really well-rounded pick i don't think there's anything wrong with bodvar sword to build up damage hammer the kill i do think though that there are better hammer legends again a great a tier just top tier brin axe to kill spear to build up damage spear is also good at killing and axe has such great signatures Brynn is in a great spot. I don't think I'd put S right now just because of current balance, but A on the edge of S, it's such a good legend. Caspian. This is the definition of a legend with holes. Katars and Gauntlets are the exact same thing. They're meh at killing, really good off stage, and very quick, so it's pretty easy to win neutral with, and great combos and whatnot. And because of that, there's no diversity. Like, both the weapons are the exact same. You can't switch to get better killing options or switch for, I don't know, more priority. They're the same. Gauntlets and Katars are very similar. E tier. On the edge of F. I, I could move them later. Cassidy. Cassidy's a great legend, but I don't think Blasters are broken right now. I think if they were, then Cassidy would be much higher. Um, but she's got fundamentally some great signatures. I think it's just strong B tier. Could be higher if Blasters are in a better spot. Cross. Uh... I this is kind of a hot take. I don't think Gauntlets are like a top two weapon right now. I think they're good, but no one in NA is really proving that they're really good right now. So with Blasters as well, like C tier, dude. Like this is my opinion. I think you got holes, bro. Uh, Diana. Diana's super well-rounded just because of that SIG kit. Super easy to kill with. And it has some great angled knockback on the signatures. I don't think you can go wrong with Diana. I think Diana's good. Bow's good. Dusk. Uh, Orb is in good spots, so is Spear. They're both good. Dusk Sigs are mad, but not bad. I don't think he's a bad pick. I'm just gonna put him in B tier. I think he's good, but it's not like crazy. Ember, great legend, but just some holes. Just, just B tier again. Just that defense. It's very hard to main Ember and do good against every legend. You've got those bad matchups. 
but is a good like counter pick legend depending on where you're playing against. Fate, god tier signatures, orb is so much fun, Scythe is fun too. I just don't think she's crazy, I'm going to put her in B tier as well. Uh, Nash, <laughs> Nash 6 are broken, straight into the A tier, I don't think he's broken, but he's such a well rounded legend, just Nash, like, there's nothing really wrong about him completely, the only thing is if his weapons were like a bit more broken, he would obviously be the S tier, but the stats are good, everything's good about Nash. It's pretty hard to make S tier right now for me, but um, Hattori, sword's good, spear's good, nothing really wrong about Hattori, but nothing crazy either, I'm just gonna put Hattori in the B tier. You can tell B tier is kind of just like has like a flaw, like a fundamental, like why you shouldn't main them, but has a ton of reasons why you should main them as well. So yeah. Isaiah. Uh Isaiah's always been good. Cannon's in a great spot right now. Good signatures, but uh nothing crazy. Blasters are meh. Just gonna put C tier. Jala. Jala is fundamentally a well put together legend. Straight to the A tier. Sword to build up damage, axe to kill, good signatures. The only thing keeping Jala from being broken is the stats, but yeah. Jiro, I'm gonna put F. And the reason why is because Sword's pretty good at killing, but it's good at building up damage, and so is Scythe. And the Sigs are good, but there's just nothing crazy about Jiro. I'm, I'm gonna put Caspian in F as well. It's just legends with fundamental flaws. Jiro's good, but like, it's so difficult. <laughs> it's easier, legends. Don't. Mm, it's just. You're, you're playing with weights. You can still win, but yeah. Kaya. Good signatures. Uh, bow and spear kind of similar purposes. Like, they're both pretty good at killing. Pretty good off stage. They're kind of good, well rounded. I I'd say bow slightly better. I don't think Kaya's bad, though. I'm going to put Kaya in the B. Just don't think she's, like, broken. Uh, Koji is really good right now. Bow's in a good spot. Sword and bow. It's kind of similar to Kaya, but you have better signatures and some god tier stats with Sword. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. I, I I think Koji's in a really good spot right now. I I would put Koji in A, but I think Bo's in a really good spot. And I think with the Sigs and everything, that Bo down Sig, ugh, it's, it's a really good legend. Core. Core is... There, there needs to be more core mains. A tier, straight away. You got Gauntlets to build up damage. Hammer to kill. Good signatures, just super strong, well-rounded. I think a couple pros need to main core and ones in order to really flush out the meta, but he's good. He could be S tier. Lin Fei, good legend, good good counters, but again, some fundamental flaws. I'm going to put Lin Fei in B, maybe in E, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, I might remove one tier, I don't know. Vrax. Everyone says Rax is broken because Lance decks and whatnot, you get some crazy combos, but like, he's meh. He's got, I might just put him in Blaster. No, he, he's got the Sigs, great signatures, but bad stats, Blasters, I just don't like him. Lucian. Lucian's the only Blaster legend that I'm going to put much higher, same with Diana, is because of those signatures and guitars are really good right now. I don't think Lucian's ever a bad pick. I'm gonna put Lucian in A. Just those sigs with Katars is so nice. Mirage. Uh, Spear's good. Just Scythe is meh right now. I don't think it's anything crazy. Um, Mirage is a good legend. Super fun and whatnot, but I don't think she's like, again, crazy. I'm gonna put her in B. Mordex. Uh, Mordex has just slowly been going downhill for me. I don't think he's crazy anymore. I think Scythe is in a mess spot. I think Gauntlets are pretty good right now, but nothing crazy as well. I'm just going to put Mordex in a B tier. I just don't see Mordex. I don't know. Is that is that crazy? Am I crazy? I, maybe A? In between the two. But yeah, there's a lot of legends in just B and A that are like general good picks. And then there's just that liars. Koji's like, just my personal opinion, could be really good. Nyx. Nyx. It's just, I, I think Nyx is good Sigs, but I do not like the combination of Blasters and Scythe. Too hard, too hard. E. Nyx is fun, but yeah, E. Orion, okay. This is the best Lance. Um, I think that Orion is the best Lance signatures, not necessarily the best Lance legend, but the Lance Sigs are god tier. Um, Spear's very good right now. 
Uh, spear and lance arguably serve a similar purpose with high priority in mat at killing, but pretty good, a bit better in spear and a bit better off stage with spear. But I do think that there's better lance legends, just more well rounded for different purposes. I'm going to put Orion in A tier. Petra. Petra's crazy. She's always been crazy. She used to be S tier, in my opinion. I just think that no one's really maining her. I'm going to put her in S tier again, just because I think her six are broken. And I think Gauntlets and Orb together being super quick and also having broken signatures makes her easy to kill, despite the weapons not being crazy at killing. I think she's so well-rounded. I, I don't see why more people are playing her. I, I don't get that. Queen Knight... You got some flaws. I'm, I'm going to put you in E. Sigs are great. Guitars are in a good spot. So are Spear. But too slow. Just too slow. Ragnar. Ragnar is crazy well-rounded. Just Guitars are great. Axe is good for killing. Great legend. 10 out of 10. Ragnar main. <laughs> Rayman. Rayman is also just super well-rounded. Again, in that A tier, there's just no real flaws necessarily. You're just kind of waiting for Gauntlets to be broken and Rayman is the go-to pick. Same with Axe. It's just... They, Gauntlets and Axe work well together with good signatures. Scarlet is similar. Scarlet, A tier. You got Hammer the Kill. Lance to build up damage. You got great signatures. The only thing I like is like a bit more even stats like Macho Man but oh my god she's great I love her Sentinel we got another S tier we got Katars build up damage hammer to kill like Katars are arguably the best weapon to build up damage hammer is arguably the best weapon to kill add them together with decent sigs and great stats with defense Sentinel's phenomenal right now Sidra okay Sidra, good signatures, cannon's in a good spot, sword's in a good spot, nothing too crazy about her, she's kind of trolly. I'm going to put Sidra in B tier just because she's troll, like, I don't know, the, the, the things are a little gimmicky. Roland has fundamental flaws, B tier. I just, the sigs, half of them are useless, lance and sword do the same thing, maybe C tier, I'll leave him C tier, I'll, I'll leave D for Linvey. Taros. Taros is just always, no matter what, it doesn't matter how the weapons are or whatnot. When you see a Taros with that much attack, it's just hard to play against. I don't think Taros is necessarily going to win you tournaments very easily, but I do not think Taros is a bad legend. It's just hard to play against Taros sometimes. So yeah, A or B tier, one of the two. Thatch? Thatch is... That's, you got some major flaws, dude. This is literally Blaster Legends. <laughs> but yeah, no, you got a ton of flaws just with that defense. Uh, Blaster Sword combination's pretty good, but nothing crazy. Yeah. Thor, super well-rounded. Or builds up damage. Hammer the kill. Good signatures. Good stats. Banger Legend. Good job, Brahala. A tier. Macho Man or Olgrim. I like the combination of Lance and Axe together. Axe to kill, Lance to build up damage. The Sigs are not great, but I am going to put them in A tier. Val. Sigs are phenomenal. Pretty good at killing because of the Sigs. Sword's pretty good at killing. Gauntlet. I, I think Val's A tier. I, I, I do. The Sigs are great. A tier. <laughs> Ushang. Gauntlet Sigs are pretty broken. Spear's good. A tier. I don't really need to explain myself. There's nothing like that makes Wushan bad, in my opinion. Zul. Okay. Since Cannon is really good right now and is in a good spot, I'm going to put you in A tier. I think Zul's really good. Sigs are great. And 10 attack. Like, what can you say? Yumiko. I, I think she could be broken, but I'm not going to put her in S tier. Sigs are phenomenal. Bow builds up damage, hammer the kill, well-rounded legend, good signatures, A tier. Okay, Zerial is a little weird, because both Gauntlets and Bow are like meh at killing. Bow's a bit better. The Sigs are good, but he's nothing crazy. I'm going to put him in B tier. Vector, okay. The Lance Sigs are useless except for Ensig. Ensig is actually good, but the Bow Sigs are all pretty good. The stats are pretty good. It's just... Since I'm a Lance Legend and I'm biased, I'm going to put him in B. But for me, he's more like an E or F. It's just those Lance are terrible. Volkov, 
Scythe builds up damage, acts to kill. Would be phenomenal if Scythe was in a better spot. Scythe is just too hard. I'm going to put Volkov. You know, I'm going to keep Volkov in A. The Sigs is just too good to make B. But if Scythe is better, that, that goes to S very quickly. Onyx. Oh my god. Onyx is broken. Gaunt Cannon's very good at killing now because you got kill confirmed with Downlight Nair. Gauntlets are also pretty good at killing. And you got broken signatures. I, I, I do think Onyx is still S tier. Just kind of underused. Just crazy sig kit and whatnot. J Yin. Okay. Great Sword is kind of bad right now. Um, it's hard to tell exactly how bad it is. But it's definitely not top tier anymore. And the sword is still nuts though. I'm going to put J in for now an A tier. But could be B tier. Depending on how bad Great Sword is. It's hard to tell. But uh, the Sigs are still phenomenal. They didn't touch him basically. <laughs> okay. There's one more legend. Which is Mako. And Mako I am going to put in... Uh, I'm going to put Mako in B tier. I don't think Great Sword is very good at killing, and Great Sword is very good at damage buildup. So if you're with Great Sword, you need to have something really good at killing, like Hammer. That's why I think Magyar is going to be really good. But um, I'm going to put Make on B tier. So flip side, put Make on B. <laughs> Guys, that's my tier list. If you like this video, make sure you hit a like, subscribe. Again, if you're new, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that sub. I post for holo content, and I think you'd enjoy it. Thank you so much, guys. It's 6.30 a.m. Signing off. Peace.